Generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Basement. Today's beverage is <sighs> strawberry milkshake. It's the um, I guess it's the polar opposite of this. This is like sort of hard drugs of the game, whereas strawberry milkshake is the most um, I guess um, juvenile of all the drinks I have. Juvenile may be a too strong a word, but um, certainly the um, the the <laughs> if I was thinking of beverage, the furthest away from um. Hard drugs, probably milkshake, yeah. Anyway, this is Basement, I've featured it as a preview, and a lot of people want to see it again. For some reason, the channel's got very druggy as of late. Big farmer in this thing, it's, um, yeah, there's there's no, like, reason for that. It's just, you know, what I happen to be playing. It got all spacey at one point as well, but, yeah. Uh, but this, it, it's, uh... It's about making uh, making drugs. We I've started a new game. Uh, I, as I said, I just thought, thought I'd have a quick jump on it and show you a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I've started off in a very good location. We've got our start district, uh, start district here, and right next to it is the Stoner's Pop Place, which is a dealer. So the, the the van doesn't have to go very far to actually do anything. What I'm going to do is build a room here. I want to build a security depot. I need to actually build a couple of security depots. I'm actually going to also go to build room, build myself another grow box because uh, I really want to. Uh, well, get another grow box, I guess. Also going to build another uh, security depot. What I need to do is get a couple of security depots and then start taking over the other areas. That's basically how you win at the moment. Obviously, in my preview, I showed you a little bit of it. Um, after playing some more, I still think it's got a lot of promise, but it's nowhere near there. It's, uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is early access. It is still in development. It is exactly what it says, so you can't really faulted for that, I guess, but it doesn't mean I can't, uh, you know, share my thoughts on it and such. still think it's uh, not a bad game. I really do like the theme, but uh, overall, let me just take 3.4 day, 3.7. That guy's better. You. Uh, looks like the I'm going to get raided, actually, by a policeman, so we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, pre police brutality in uh, 10 seconds. Not bad. I've got two goons. Ready to take them out. I'm just going to build room. I'm, what I'm trying to do is get a lot of security depots and um, actually uh, see if I can sort of not max out my people. Why they've gone downstairs? There, I'm not going to. I'm not going to accept a bribe. We're just going to fight them. There you go. That didn't take long. We just we just batter them in the face. Uh, yeah, I want to get um, security depots up and running because I want to. Oh, I haven't got enough money for that. Because I want to uh, get more goons, and then the goons will be able to go off and fight things and punch people in the face. So that should be quite good. Uh, we've got next to us a big chemical lab, which has currently got a acid stall and a dope kitchen in there. Further along, we've got a construction shack, which is another place we can build. But as you can see, it's got like four pigs in it, as well as this uh, sort of heavily armoured guy. He's got like a riot shield and a sort of, well, he's got riot gear on, basically. These are the uh, the toughest here, these sort of hotline Miami pig-headed guys. One of the big problems with the game and there's several big problems at the moment I would say but uh, yeah one of the big problems is that your guys level up but you can't upgrade them as far as I can tell you can't choose to give them equipment or anything like that and also because they only fight one-on-one -on -one, you can't gang up on things like the big guys here they be fight one-on-one -on -one, which means you're gonna get wrecked every time either way I'm going to go to my garage actually I'm not gonna go to the garage or garage depends what you want to see you can say garage or you can say garage or if you're from anywhere else you can say whatever your equivalent of garage is uh, I want to be able to hire another goon and then we can send him off there we go we'll hire goon 390 so I'm spending a lot of money on goons here but I'm going to attack the garage and with all of my goons available obviously there's only two people in there and we can't gang up as I've said but I just want to do it to get it taken out what I also want to do is then take the garage over here and then eventually the green dealer over this side because then I can get I can sell all of the uh, my green drugs here you can see the grow boxes there there one thing I didn't really mention is the uh, the music in this it's um I don't know, it's quite heavy. I don't know if that's like, I don't know if that makes any sense, but the, the music is quite heavy. I don't, it just seems fitting. Anyway, it looks like I've lost a goon, but uh, we should be able to take this thing out. There we go, we've managed to take that out. And sadly, Stoner's Pop Place is going to get taken over, so what I need to do is move my goons back. But I do now have another vehicle. It's an ice cream truck. I think there was a bug in the... I was playing earlier, and I think there's a bug in this van. That van there only takes one or two uh, drugs, whereas the ice cream... Where, you know, you see on the side, it should be able to take ten. But, nah, again, Alpha Game is Alpha. Right, so, van coming over here. Uh, they, oh, well, they're trying to bribe this in. Uh, bribe this? Uh, no, I'm not going to bribe that. I want to just get people downstairs and... Um, 
medical them up and then we're going to send them over to there to take back that area uh, I know I, when I did my preview video some people were saying like oh I should always try and defend it and that is true you should always try to defend the places because when they seize it you do lose your um, stash that was there so, and, and anything that's on this way well the van's not smart enough to turn around if it's taken over so yeah Anyway, we need to take this over quickly because we're currently not making any cash at all. So, there we go. We've got the goons coming in, which will be able to just take the pig out. There you go. Bye, cop. No. Almost. Yeah, we've managed to do that. And we've leveled up as well, which is quite good. We'll move them back because, obviously, they're um, very low health. Actually, no, they're not low health because when you level up, you uh, your, your health goes to maximum, which is a bit weird, but, you know. Don't worry. It's not a complaint. Just an observation. Um, oh, there's a, there's a race between the right bus and the ice cream van. Uh, looks like they beat it. So, yeah, we're, we're doing quite well. You can see the stash is getting filled up. We've got two ice cream vans as well, so I'm just trying to fill this up here. There you go. They're just taking everything they can. Actually, they're only taking two. I don't know whether it's supply and demand. I still haven't worked this out, whether they only take what is uh, what is demanded. But it doesn't look like that because, you know, it seems to stack up and keep stacking up. I don't know whether it's that or not. See, the capacity is five, and that's obviously got more than that one. So I don't know why that one took less because there was still enough for it to take. So I have no idea how it works. I have no idea. Right, let me get a, another goon, and that guy is probably the best 18 on the punchy bag. That guy, and he's also 57 on his um, overall, uh, not strength, but his overall uh, toughness. So that's quite good, his health and stuff. Just waiting for these guys. I'm going to come them down and get the fatigue back and such. Obviously, we're paying people out a day, 183 per day, so it's uh, a little bit of a big ask let me get alvin there we go so we've got another goon and i think we're going to go over to that's a ride guy there i think i'm going to take over the green dealer so we'll send everyone there and then we'll take that out then we'll have to come back sadly that's quite far away which is hopefully why the trucks will well, hopefully the trucks will do all right i'm also i also want to dig down and start digging to the left because I want to make another green dealer and the idea is to sell just the green and then hopefully we'll be able to take over the other stuff like the dope kitchen and the acid stall and things like that. I don't think I'll be doing it in this uh, this video because mm. the game can uh, vary in length based on a any random number of factors to be honest with you. I've played it where I've managed to... I wouldn't say complete it because I don't think I've ever completed it. At least I can't remember. Um, Look at that, see, look, there's, there's, there's two of them there, but they're all fighting one-on-one, -on -one, which is just silly. Um, let's bring, I guess, all of them back. Do you want to bring all of them back? Yeah, bring them all back. And, uh, yeah, the fight, yeah, so I've, I don't think I've ever completed it, but I've got, I, I've played, say, 20 minutes and pretty much taken over most of the map. Then I've played for an hour and a half and still got nowhere because when the, when these guys kill you, if you if you lose your guys, your goons and stuff, then you have to buy them more and it does take a little bit of time and it's you know, you can get to a point where it's sort of unwinnable. You know, where you lose your goons and then a policeman comes along and takes over your pot dealer or whatever and then you can't sell it and it's just like ah, infuriating. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, right, so we do we need to dig out? We could dig out, but I think I'm I'm just going to save cash. Don't think I really want to go any further. What's my power? It's fourteen of thirty. Actually, I'm going to start digging out a little bit because I want to uh, get, I say, more green dealer up and running. Because, you know, we're doing quite well here. And then there you go, there's ice cream van going. And then I think, have these guys medicaled up? No, why have they not medicaled up? Because they're fatheads, I think that's why. We could put another couch in. Let's build another couch. Oh, we don't have enough money. You, come down here. You can sit on the new couch when I build that. How much is a couch these days? It is... Dollars. That's that's a that's a DFS so for that highly discounted, highly flammable. But uh, you know, just just go to a charity shop. You can get it cheaper. Uh, <laughs> I was in a charity shop the other day, uh, British Heart Foundation one, and they had a brand new sofa in there, never used. And it wasn't as if like they've got it from something, as in like they, they got it from like oh well we're selling we are actually selling new ones, which they do sell new stuff in there. But it's oh I said oh is that new? Is it oh yeah it's never been sat on the they bought it and then. Um, Apparently someone they didn't like it, so they just brought it in here. And so we, we checked online, uh, and it was from um, SES Sofa well It was there Sofa World or SES or whatever. You know, d different different places are available and all that. And um, they said, oh, you checked online, and it was um, it was a seven hundred pound sofa. <laughs> Some people have far too much money. <laughs> anyway, right, I do need to. I'll get that guy up there because that's so, this sofa isn't obviously not gonna. We're not gonna get bought. So you go up there. 
You sit on the sofa. There, you sit on the sofa now. Right, I do want to build another sofa. Bye. I don't really want to send these goons off because I can... I can just feel a, a raid coming somewhere. At any minute, any second now, it's just going to be... Oh, here's a raid. We've just got to level up there as well, so we're making more drugs. These guys are all on full health, which is good. Send him over there. And then he's going to have us a little bit sit down. And how we're doing? Charles. Yeah, there you go. Stone is pop place. Here. Move everybody over. And we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> there's the there's the van there. Oh, there's the uh, the police car. Looks a bit sports like, doesn't it? Hmm. So police brutality in ten seconds. Good luck. I don't think they're going to be able to win this one. They might take one of my goons out, which is the worst. Now, as I said, the, the biggest problem, I think, is the, the gang up thing. You can't gang up on people, so so I'll say fight. So there's a policeman. I'm going to say fight there. He's just gone down. Is he just going to seize my stash, or does he walk past it? Worst policeman in the history of law enforcement. He just walked past a stash of drugs. Look, gang up. Gang up. No, they're just walking past fatheads. Right, okay, move back. Move back, heal up. There you go. We protected that, and then we will uh, continue on. Do we need? Do we actually need more drug areas? I don't think we do. You know, I really don't think we do because we're currently selling just the right amount, and obviously our vans are working quite well. I do want to take over this other garage, though. Uh, is that is that a white dealer? It is a white dealer. We've got a purple dealer over there, brown dealer there. See, these dealers here, are these construction sites here, these big chemical labs, they're alright, but obviously there's lots of other dealers over this side. Mm, I don't know what we're going to have to do. Right, you know what? Let's attack the garage. There we go, we're attacking. Um, what I want to do is dig out to this side. So I want a couple more uh, security depots because I want a couple more goons. To take out this area here, we're going to lose a lot of goons. Probably lose all of our goons. We'll probably lose all six goons and have to take it over again. This garage here, by the way, we could, for example, build a room and build a sofa. The reason to do that is it will um, give you, like, uh, a place to rest. So these, that's the only reason why you would do that. There's a garage here as well, which we're taking over. So here we go. So we've got a riot guy. And there we go, fighting. So the riot guy is going to easily take out one goon. Yeah, he's taking out one goon. We're going to have another fight. And taking out another goon. And how's that guy's health? Yeah, we've managed to take that over. So I've lost two goons. Not great. Uh, we could build a couple of things in the garage. We could build like a generator. A generator is 500. And then we could build another resting place. And I think actually I'm going to do that. That would give me... An area for them to rest locally instead of having to travel like very very far. So there we go. So it means having to, you know, it doesn't mean we it means we don't have to come back, rest up, and then head off. So that that'd be quite um, a bit of a, that'd be a bit of a pain. So anyway, we now have another van, and I believe this is the glitch van. At least the last time I was playing, it, it's the glitch van. There's a school bus. Capacity is ten, so that's double the capacity of the other one. So here we go, and yeah, that does that look like ten to you? No, it is not very. Oh, it is. That was 10, yeah. So it might just be the sprite on the side. I don't know. Either way, that's um, that's shifting a lot of stuff. That's quite good. That's a lot of gear getting uh, sent away there. Right, so, hire. We need some more hirelings. Let's get a couple more guys. You, Gordon. And where else do we want to go? So we've got two green dealers. We've got two garages. Or garages. Where do you want to take over next? I think that chemical lab's there right for the taking. So I'm going to move my guy up to the entrance. There we go. And then mm, we need to start shifting stuff. Oh, we need to actually start buying more goons. Hire a goon. Malcolm. And build another security depot, which costs a little bit of power, but it doesn't matter. We need... Five goons, ideally. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three. Four, five. There's five, five goon, five goon um, terminals. <laughs> Goominals. We got some goominals. Ugh, that sounds horrible. Ugh, it sounds like a, something you get on your skin. <laughs> I've got goominals disease. Might be a disease. Pretty much everything is these days. Right. So. Uh, there is uh, them up and running. We've got our goon bus coming along. That's not a goon bus. Where is the goon bus? That's an ice cream van. 
Have they brought them all back? I might have brought them all back. Hang on. Move. They're still on the way. I can't see the goon bus. Mm. Oh, there it is there. It's already on the move. It just, uh, yeah, it wasn't sure. Right, clicking there. So... We are still making we're making a quite a bit of money per day, which is quite which is good. Uh, we've got Lindsay here, which has got a nice punch. Good, good, good. So we've got four out of five goons, and we uh, buy 288 per day for 288 per day is what we're uh, shelling out. But obviously, we are making uh, quite a bit from everything else. So I guess we'll buy. Daniel or Walter? They're about the same, so we'll go for Walter. There we go. Right, so we got all the goons. Chemical lab. Goon, goon, goon. This is where I get raided just after this happens. Goon, goon. And send. So here we go. All of the goons they are going to get on the bus. And they're going to head off and do some attackage. Now, I reckon I will lose all of these goons, and I probably won't even take out one of these, because that's how it works. Damn it, I've just got a raid as well. So, there you go, they're starting to fight, and they're all going to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Look, they're all going to go downstairs, and they can't really order them about. Not when they're in here, they just get to do their own thing. And, yeah, they're all fighting one-on-one, -on -one, which means they're all dead. Right, so I've, I've lost everybody, so I'm going to have to hire um, everybody that I can. Police brutality over here, which means I, I can't really do anything, so my garage is being taken over. And yeah, that's 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 basement, and that's how it works, sadly, because I don't really know what else to do. I mean, <laughs> was I supposed to not attack that? I mean, I should be able to sort of ganged up on that guy there. Gang up on that guy, take him out, go to the next guy, gang up on that guy. Fair enough, you know, they might have taken some of my other people out, but we're going one-on-one. -on -one, I mean, their health is reduced now, and I don't think they heal it up. But it means I'm just going to have to wave into them constantly, and it's just... Ah, yeah. It just is a little bit annoying. We could attack the garage, but there's three police there. Because the thing is, it escalates, so there'll be more people there. So I don't know what I can do, and as I said, I can't, like, level stuff up. Or you can level stuff up, rather, but you can't... Um, you can't equip them with different pieces of equipment as far as I can tell. I mean, if we just got a build room. Um, no, there's all your drug stuff there, and then there's your sports stuff there. No, you can't. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. <sighs> that is basement. I, uh, like I said, I wanted to give it another uh, little uh, run out and show you a little bit more of it because people have requested it. But um, I am going to leave it until it uh, it comes out, like, until it gets a little bit more... Uh, it, grow, it needs at least a little bit more meat on the bones. It needs a lot more meat on the bones. Currently, it's just a bit of... It is just a bone, and we're sucking the marrow out of it. That's all it really is at the moment. But, like I say, I, I do like the theme. I think it's got an edge to it. But, uh, yeah. The mechanics need... Not just work. They need more. <laughs> there needs to be more. But, yeah. I guess it is what it is. As I said, it's, um, it is in early access and all that. But, still. Links in the description. You can check it out yourself if you wish. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.